According to the International Cat Association, there are more than 70 officially recognized cat breeds. Of course, not every cat is purebred, so any particular feline can be a mix of two or more of these officially recognized breeds. Years and generations of cats moving, mixing, merging and meowing has caused the majority of cats today to possess the DNA of more than one cat breed. In fact, 98% of cats fall outside of the purebred category. If you purchase your cat from a breeder or a pet store, you'll know more or less what type of kitten you're getting. But if you adopt a cat from a shelter or off the streets, you could be sitting with a mixed bag of traits with no specific breed to point to. This leads to uncertainty about specific behaviors, traits, predispositions, and health issues. However, a common cat owner trait that we all share is having a really small, sympathetic heart when it comes to stray and feral cats and kittens. If Millie weren't as antisocial as she is, and I maybe lived on a farm, I would keep bringing home rescue cats off the streets until I eventually die from playtime exhaustion and snuggles. For all our new cat daddies and meowthers joining the channel today, welcome! I'm Isabel and this is Millie. We're from Excited Cats, a global online cat care community where curious cats come together and we learn everything there is to know about cats so we can better serve their meow -gesty and be the best cat owners that we can be. Make sure to subscribe and join our cat community. With all that being said, let's get back to why you're here. You want to know how you can identify which cat breeds make up your cat's DNA. Let's begin. It would take hours and hours and hours to go through all the registered cat breeds and their traits. Instead, we're going to help you identify specific traits about your cat that can be used to create a search query. It's going to look something like this. The search results you get won't be definitive, but it's going to help you narrow down the cat breeds that make the most sense. If you're wondering what breed your cat is, an important thing to remember is there's a huge difference between purebred and mixed breed cats. Purebred cats are much easier to identify because each specific cat breed has specific characteristics that help define them. On the other hand, mixed breed cats are an amalgamation. There aren't any breed standards that you can use to help identify what breed it is. Instead, you're going to attempt to narrow things down to a few specific breeds that most likely contributed to your cat's genetic makeup. In this case, we're going to help you make an educated guess. First, we're taking a look at size and weight. Cats come in a variety of different shapes, sizes, lengths, and heights. You get small or dwarf cats that can weigh just around four pounds, and then on the other side, you get giant cat breeds like the Maine Coon, who can weigh over 25 pounds. Let's take a look at large cats. They are generally around 15 pounds. They can weigh far more, but some large cats are actually as light as 12 pounds, making them easy to confuse with medium-sized cats. Some rare specimens can even weigh more than 30 pounds. These cats aren't just heavy, they're also very long and tall, usually more than eight inches tall and can easily reach heights of 16 inches. They're also quite long, ranging from 30 inches up to 47.2 inches at record holding size. If your cat meet these requirements, then you can consider them to be a large cat. Some of the most common large cat breeds include these breeds. Moving on to medium-sized cats. Most cat breeds fall in the medium-sized category. Most often they weigh between 9 to 12 pounds. If your cat is heavier, it's probably a large cat, and if it's lighter, then it's most likely a dwarf cat. These are some common medium-sized cat breeds. 
and then the cutest of them all small or dwarf cats if your cat is lighter than nine pounds very small in their stature and they are fully grown then they might be a small or dwarf cat luckily small cats like these are rather easy to identify and there aren't that many dwarf cat breeds of these small cats munchkins are the most well known and many other dwarf breeds share munchkin genetics here are some of the more common small cat breeds then taking a look at face shape. Not all cats have faces shaped in a particular way that makes it easy to identify their breed. However, cats that do display a particular shape or face or facial features makes it easier to narrow down to a tighter category. For example, round and flat faced cats. These cats are known as brachycephalic cat breeds and they have shorter skulls than other cats. Unfortunately, there are some downsides to brachycephalic cat breeds. They are susceptible to a bunch of health conditions due to their unique anatomical structure. Here are some of the more common round or flat faced cats. Then we take a look at narrow-faced cats. Almost the opposite of uh, flat-faced cat breeds is narrow-faced cat breeds, and they have a more triangular skull. There are even fewer narrow-faced cat breeds than flat-faced cat breeds. The most popular of these cats is the Siamese, though these are the other breeds that have a narrow face. Then we take a look at ears. The shape of your cat's ears can be a dead giveaway to its genetic makeup if it displays certain traits. For instance, very few breeds have curled or folded ears, making them very easy to identify. Let's begin with curled ears. Curled ears are shaped like an arch and they usually curl backwards, almost like little horns. Very few breeds display curled ears, including the American Curl and the Dwarf. On the other side is folded ears. Cats with folded ears often get lumped together with cats that have curled ears. However, these two are not the same. One major difference is that cats with curled ears are generally pretty healthy, whereas cats with folded ears have them due to a genetic mutation that can come with health problems. Let's take a look at a really cute characteristic. Tufted ears, lynx tips or other ear furnishings. Quite a few cat breeds display these super cute ear adornments, which help keep out debris and project sound in. If your cat has them, it can help narrow down its breed to one of the following. Moving on to eyes. Cats can display a wide variety of eye colors. Watch the video in the top corner to learn more about it. Common cat eye colors include amber, hazel, gold, green and blue. If your cat's eyes are both the same color, it might not be able to tell you much about the breed. However, some cat breeds have different colored eyes, known as heterochromia. Cats with this odd-eyed condition are a genetic anomaly and it's linked to the white dominant and white spotting genes, so certain breeds can display it. And here they are. Next, we take a look at the coat. Your cat's coat can offer you another clue into their breed. Cats can have many different types of coats, including long hair, short hair, basically no hair, and curly hair. First, let's look at the long hair cats. Long hair cats have long, fluffy coats that can make them appear much larger than they are. These breeds have thick fur and shed quite a bit. Some breeds with long hair include the following. Then we can take a look at the short-haired cats. The opposite of long-haired cats, short-haired cats have short fur that stays close to their bodies. They need far less grooming than long-haired cats and their coats are easier to maintain. These are some of the most common short-haired breeds. Then you get curly-haired cats. They're a bit harder to maintain than straight coats because they tend to get tangled up quite a bit. Cats with curly hair can either have long curly hair or short curly hair. These are some cat breeds that often show curly hair. And then finally, hairless cats. These cats are very popular with people who suffer from cat allergies because of their basically bald bodies. 
There aren't too many hairless cat breeds, so if your cat has no hair, then they're most likely one of the following breeds. Let's look at colors, markings, and patterns. While your cat's color isn't going to offer an immediate answer to its breed, certain colors, patterns, and markings are specific to certain breeds. Adding one more clue to the list of evidence you can use to determine what breed your cat is. You get solid color cats, then you get bicolored cats. Bicolored cats display two colors on their bodies, also known as piebald. These cats have one main base color, and the second color is white which can take up most of the cat's coat or only a small patch. Tortoiseshell cats are similar to bicolored cats, but they have no white in their coats. Instead, they have a base color and any secondary color that can appear as patches mixed into the base color. Not to be confused with tortoise shells, we get the calico. Calico cats have tri-colored coats. One of the colors is white, the other two colors can be anything. Almost all calico cats are females, and only one in 3,000 calico cats is born male. Most of these are sterile. Let's take a look at points. You may have heard of a cat having points. This means that its face, feet, ears, and tail could display a different color than the rest of their body. The points and the base can come in just about any color. Not every cat breed can display colored points, but the following can. Let's move on to the tail. Most cats have pretty standard tails that won't offer you too much insight into the cat's genetics. That said, there are cat breeds that have a very particular type of tail that can be a big clue in determining what breed your cat is. A naturally occurring short tail. Only these breeds can portray this uncommon feature. Let's move on to behavior. You get smart cat breeds. Most people consider cats to be rather intelligent creatures, but some cat breeds are notably smarter than others. These are the cat breeds known for displaying above average levels of intelligence. Then you get noisy cat breeds. A lot of cats are quiet, reserved creatures. On the other hand, you get cats that can be extremely vocal. These cats love to meow, sing, chirp, purr, and chat with their owners. Since it's a trait only common to a few breeds, vocal cats tend to be one of the following. Then you get calm and docile cat breeds. Many cats have loads of energy and love to play, hunt, chase, climb, and be super active. Less common are the cats that are usually quiet, reserved, and docile. These cats are easy to identify. A few of the calmer cat breeds include... Then we get friendly cat breeds. Cats have a reputation of being a little standoffish and stuck up, but some cats are quite the opposite. These cat breeds are mostly friendly and inviting. Then we get independent cat breeds. Some cats only want your attention when they decide they want it, and then they're pretty adamant. It's not a request. These bossy, independent felines believe themselves to be lords and ladies of the manor, in charge of all that they see. Here are some breeds that commonly display the sassy, independent attitude. Then, there are cat breeds that like water. Most cats definitely don't like water, but the following breeds tend to be attracted to it. Using the criteria that we've outlined, you have three methods to help determine what breed your cat is. Number one, a search query. Just make a list of all the traits we've covered that your cat displays and type all of them into your favorite search engine. Number two, Alternatively, you can go back to all the breeds we've listed in each category. You can use the full article that I've linked down below. If there is one particular breed that's on the list for every trait your cat displays, then there's a high likelihood that your cat belongs to that breed. Number three. This method is superior to number one and two, although it's also more expensive and time-consuming. Genetic testing. 
This is especially useful for mixed breed cats. You can often identify a purebred cat by its traits, but mixed breed cats can show traits from several different breeds, making their lineage much harder to pinpoint. Genetic testing can get around that quite easily. If you're interested in genetic testing, your veterinarian would be able to help you. You can also look at products like base paws. An added benefit of genetic testing is that you'll learn much more about your cat than just its breed. You can learn a lot about your cat's health as well, and maybe pinpoint some specific health concerns that might be a problem later down the line. This is great for taking preventative action. If you learned something in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy our channel and you'd like to learn more cool things about cats, please subscribe. You can follow us on social media and check out our website, excitedcats.com. Thank you for watching and see you next Monday.